from uh, Omaha, Nebraska. We're at uh, the headquarters of Wounded Warriors Family Support. And what you see are two very distinctive, very wonderful F-150 XLT uh, Ford pickups that have, as you can see, dressed out in our uh, livery of red, white, and blue. And these are very special trucks because these two Ford F-150s will be driven by Microsoft employees on the second annual Drive the Journey. Now, Drive the Journey is a Microsoft employee initiative to raise awareness of our mission and to elicit support for Microsoft employees all over the United States to help our combat wounded and their families. And these two trucks are being given to two special individuals this, this, this uh, vehicle will go to Jim Logden of uh, uh, Indiana, a Vietnam veteran who was severely wounded. And this truck will go to Aaron Boyle, driven by the West team, who lives in Washington State. So uh, these two uh, gentlemen will receive each of these vehicles at events that the Microsoft employees will have at the respective campuses in Redmond, Washington, and Ruston, Virginia, at the conclusion of a, of a three week long tour. Come on right here, I'll show you. We have here, as you can see, we've got uh, uh, our, our name on here because we're the beneficiary of the generosity of the uh, Microsoft employees. And there's a map, so we have a map that shows the, the West Coast route, starting from Seattle, heading down and all the way around, and the East Coast. Folks will start in Charlotte and wind the way around with a meeting point in Tulsa. Trucks will come together in Tulsa, we'll have an event, uh, Microsoft facility there, and then the trucks will make their way back to their respective uh, endpoints. This one being Western Virginia, and of course up in the Seattle area at, at Redmond. Now, these trucks are really beautiful, but they have a capability set that is unrivaled. I want to demonstrate that. To everyone so people understand how significant these trucks will be in improving the lives of two severely combat wounded veterans and their families so let me let me show you how it works so you're going to see that this is not a off-the-shelf f-150 xlt it does have a 2.7 liter echo boost very fuel efficient engine twin turbocharged backed up by a beautiful 10-speed transmission. So this is a really nice vehicle. This beautiful F-150 decked out with mobility equipment that will help Jim and Aaron drive this thing without any outside assistance from somebody who needs to help them get into the vehicle or out of the vehicle. Let me show you what it does. When I press this button, we'll see what happens. And imagine you have uh, Aaron or Jim in this seat he's going to get himself out of the vehicle by himself he's not going to require any outside assistance to go from this seat to his wheelchair so the first thing he's going to do is get himself out of the truck by using this pendant and pushing the appropriate button this seat will lower him to about 18 inches off the ground automatically. All he's got to do is push the button and of course you can stop any time by releasing the button. So this will come down. Imagine now that he has got to get himself from this seat to his wheelchair. We'll go down that far. Now he's got to get to his wheelchair. We have two more pendants. These pendants will control the other components. As you can see, we have a, we have a uh, fiberglass cover that is hydraulically actuated. Once the tonneau cover has been lifted, then it will actuate the crane. Now imagine that this crane now has 
wheelchair attached to it. We're going to swing this out again with his wheelchair. All the way over. You can bring the wheelchair right next to the vehicle. You can lower the wheelchair next to the seat. And as you can see, it's very close to the seat where one of these gentlemen can grab his wheelchair, unhook it with a D ring, slide himself over to the chair. But this is the reason we have these flashing lights. You're not going to see these on standard F 150. We have these on the inside of each right and left uh, passenger or driver door, only because if you imagine maybe a dark night on the street, we want to give an oncoming driver a chance to see this truck in operation and not cause any problems for them. This equipment enables a driver to missing his legs or a spinal injury to get himself in and out of this vehicle without help. This is why we call it mobility is freedom because these individuals now will have a way to get themselves around town, go camping, do whatever they want to do with their families and not be dependent upon somebody else getting them around conduct in their daily lives. So we'll put the seat back. Now each one of these vehicles also has hand controls. The hand controls are on the, on the steering column, control, acceleration, and of course the brake. And it's not installed yet, but there'll be a turning knob, which makes it really easy for uh, these gents to steer the vehicle in, in, in city traffic. It just gives them uh, more freedom to get that truck turned in the direction they need it to go. So when you look at this thing from the standpoint of truck be driven all around the United States, good highway miles, to demonstrate to everyone around the United States who will see this vehicle, what we're doing to support our combat wounded veterans in a very meaningful and very tangible way. This is an investment we're making for their freedom and the Microsoft employees all over the United States are going to make this a reality. The Microsoft employees through the GIVE campaign, we're going to make sure that these vehicles are provided because they're actually paying for them. Now, if you look at these vehicles, the set up on these vehicles with uh, uh, what you see here for a base uh, XLT is with the equipment probably around $75,000. We've got, we put a suite in here. We've got the Microsoft Sync system. And we've got the, the NAV system installed with, of course, Sirius XM that comes with it. And what better way than to, to drive around the country listening to, to some good music while, while we're on the open road. So this is what we're doing. Uh, this is what we're doing because the Microsoft employees have stood up. We also like to take this opportunity to, to thank Pilot Flying J, which is providing all the fuel for both these vehicles. Now, we've added a couple other things, at least one other thing, are these Baja grill guards. Uh, you'll see the different colors. Uh, the base color of this vehicle is black. The base color of this Microsoft vehicle is race red. So the wrap comes off, this is the color of the truck, and likewise, this will be the color of the truck. The reason we have these on here is for safety. Uh, we don't want a situation where uh, one of these gentlemen is out in the country at night, inclement weather, and then have a problem with a deer strike. And as you see, the other, the other really important thing here is the inclusion of the Purple Heart metal on each hood. We have these in recognition uh, of the fact that, that both Aaron and Jim are combat wounded. That's who we're supporting, combat wounded. And again, these trucks, because of the generosity of the Microsoft employees, will enable 
these two gentlemen and their families can live a better life of freedom because now Jim and Aaron are not dependent upon somebody else helping them to get into a vehicle or automobile. So that's our story. Uh, we, we encourage uh, uh, Microsoft employees to participate uh, either through uh, donations of the Give campaign or to actually get behind the wheel and be ambassadors for, for, for our team and the Microsoft team to show off these vehicles as you drive throughout the United States. That's our story. We hope you appreciate what you saw. If you have any questions, uh, you get a hold of us. John Folsom at WWFS.org. We'd love to hear from you, your ideas. Look us up on Facebook. The Microsoft team will will have its Facebook presence uh, going at, at, during the uh, drive of the journey. So if you have any questions, uh, let us know, and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.